In this video, we'll be playing some play along country streaks. The links will be in the description. The last time we played this and I shared some GeoGuessr tips, you guys enjoyed it. So if you do like this video, leave a like, leave a comment so I know I read all of them. Uh, so let's go. The links, as I said, in the description. You can play before me and then see maybe you got further than I did. Uh, maybe you missed something and I can share what I see so you can learn. So let's go. Immediately, what I'm thinking is uh, Baltics. As you can see, we have a flag here that I that I missed at first, uh, a Latvian flag. So this is Latvia. But yeah, just from this house in Baltics, uh, you see a lot of these like white brick houses, and also this pole, like a wooden pole uh, with like a little little hat on top. So this this is enough to guess Latvia. But but we can have a look around. Um, these are Latvian signs with kind of like a thicker uh, red border. In uh, Estonia and Lithuania, this border will be more narrow. Also a clue, a language clue, if you see any language in your location, as we do here. Um, Iela means street in Latvian. So if you see Iela, well, that's that's Latvia. This is definitely Latvia, so, so we go there. Uh, yellow central lines that I noticed. This looks like Generation 4. Very bright and vivid colors. We have sun to our north. So, Generation 4th. Yellow middle lines. Sun to the north. Hmm. Interesting. I am thinking uh, like, like Latin America. South America somewhere. Yeah, generation 4. Golf club. Entrada. So, I'm thinking maybe Argentina. Because these Generation 4... In Latin American countries, you can have in uh, Argentina, Brazil, and Mexico. Sun is to the north, so it is not Mexico. Uh, shouldn't be. Um, and, and, and in Brazil, they speak Portuguese. I don't think it's Portuguese. So let's go Argentina. It is. Nice. Okay, let's see. The roofs don't feel... Um, Baltic. So this is not Baltics. Uh, but we do have a wooden pole. Generation 4 again. Oh, and holy pole. A holy pole. Okay. Hungary is one of the countries with holy poles. Also, Generation 4. And my first thought was Czechia or Hungary, just because this is Generation 4. And, and, and in this area, Czechia can have Generation 4. Austria, Hungary. But anyways, this is Hungary. We move on. Uh, Steiner. Sounds kind of German. Could this be Germany? No, it looks like we have a small front license plate. Um, any language? I can't really read the language, but the font feels Italian. And also, like, in Italy, you, ca you will get a smaller front license plates. They should have blue on both sides. I cannot really tell because of the blur. Wait, is this... Oh, this is not Gen 2. It fir at first, it felt like Generation 2, but I noticed that this is not Generation 2, this is low camera. Mm, it almost tricked me, almost tricked me. Uh, as you can see, like, you can, kind of, following the blur, you can see that uh, it kind of, like, like uh, makes, makes, like, a car shape around us. It's not a, not a perfect circle, it's like a car shape. So, yeah. It is, it is common in uh, Switzerland, low camera, Switzerland and Japan, and sometimes uh, uh, Taiwan. But okay, this was Switzerland. Almost tricked me. So this, of course, is uh, Singapore. Uh, this, you see these green signs a lot in Singapore, in English. Uh, driving on the left, that's a big clue. Uh, black license plate. In general, feels very green. Singapore looks very, very green. And, yeah, the big clue is, is that signs are in English. Driving on the left, English, black plates. Definitely Singapore. Okay, moving on. Uh, another holy pole. Uh, this one looks uh, Romanian to me. Because uh, it has a um, white painted bottom. And then you get those a lot in Romania. Uh, poles painted with a white bottom. And also, yeah, this sign, 
this S with a, with an accent, with a little tail. Also found in Romania. So, and dashed lines. White dashed lines. You know, Romania is one of the countries where you can see a white dashed lines uh, on the sides of the road. Okay, this is generation 4. Very bright colors. It looks like this is a, a Portuguese license plate with the yellow on the right side. And we can see the other plates also have it, so it most likely is Portugal. Uh, we can see the pedestrian crossing sign. Um, it's hard to tell, but in Portugal, you sh there should be like a little belt for the little guy crossing. We can, I think we can faintly see it, like a white, white belt going across uh, the waist. It should be there, if it is Portugal, indeed. And it is. Ooh, okay, first that is Australia. We have Generation 1. You do not get Generation 1 in many countries. You get Generation 1 in uh, mostly USA uh, and Australia, mostly. Sometimes you can see it in um, New Zealand. Yeah, very rarely Canada and very rarely France and Mexico, but not, not important to remember that. Um, we have, yeah, but we have Sun to the North. We can see the bollard, which looks Australian. So, yeah, I'm fairly confident with Australia here. Ooh, this might be more tricky. We have, like, a gravel road with uh, no antenna? Hmm, interesting. Okay, so, at first I was thinking Europe. But, since we have no antenna and looking around... I saw, like, this ho these houses, the water hydrant. This started to feel very much like North America to me. Uh, because no of no antenna, because of the style of the houses, just feels very, very North American. The water hydrant, you don't really see water hydrants like this in Europe. Oh, and this uh, black and uh, black sign with a white arrow, very North American. Also, the license plates are smaller. The big question now is whether this is US or Canada. In the back of my mind, for some reason, again, if I'm if I'm wrong, please let me in the co uh, know in the comments. Uh, for some reason, I think that if you get this sign with no text on it, it might be Canada, more likely. So I think I'll guess Canada, but uh, I guess we'll see if I'm right. Yes, okay, so, yeah, for some reason I thought that uh, in, in uh, USA there is, like, a text on those arrows. But, again, yeah, uh, don't quote me on that. <laughs> but this time it worked. This time it worked. So, uh, sun is to the north again, okay. Sun helps us a lot today. Um, the language, I can't, I, I think it might be Spanish, but just couldn't really tell. Okay, we have a black car. And that really helps us here. Uh, we have a black Google car. The language, I think, is Sanishia Puerto something. The black car, why did I say the black car helps a lot? The black car helps because sun is to the north, we are in the southern hemisphere. Uh, with a black car, it can only be, really, uh, Argentina, Uruguay, or Peru. Um, since the sun is very, very north, uh, it, it looks, looking around, it looks like we are very south. We see these very high mountains, um, Spanish language, black car, uh, Uruguay doesn't have mountains like that. Uh, this is definitely not Peru. We're way too south for uh, it to be Peru. So yeah, this is definitely Argentina, yeah, quite, quite far south uh, near this mountain range. From the first glance, this looks very much like Baltics, because cause the big giveaway for me was this pole. This pole uh, with like these metal bars, very small metal, metal bars, uh, are, these are Lithuanian poles. So, I'm thinking Lithuania. Looking around, it does look like the trees look Lithuanian, the houses look Lithu like they could be Lithuanian. And yeah, the, the biggest clue, again, the white brick house that we saw in the first round, again, another one, white brick house. Because of the pole, I, I'm pretty confident. You can very rarely see them in other Baltic countries, like in Latvia, but it's usually in the border area. 
So you, sh you, you don't really need to be concerned about that. Although you can see those poles in uh, Ukraine and Russia as well. Keep that in mind. Caution site entrance lorries turning. Um, do we have a yellow plate? We are driving on the opposite side of the road, on the left side. I think we have a yellow plate there on that car, which would indicate that we are in the UK. I was thinking UK or Ireland. And I think this car also has a yellow plate, it seems. So I'm fairly confident about this being UK. Okay, we have a long antenna. We have all white lines, all white road lines. Um, and, and, and the trees, not the best at, at the flora, but the trees, uh, these are uh, Australian trees. Uh, with a black trunk, ooh. I remember studying that, like, if you see black trunk, it was one particular place, but I don't remember which one. So let's just guess Australia and see. It was up here. I guess the black trunk was up here? Maybe. Uh, okay, this is Vienna. Im immediately, let me tell you the clues. So, the clues here are, first of all, these stickers on the poles. Red, white, and red in Austrian colors. The reflective stickers. So people... Oh, and cars see it. <laughs> Don't miss the poles. Uh, another big clue is um, uh, these signs, uh, these street signs, with the number first and then the street name. This number represents the Vienna district that we are in. And yeah, if you see this number before, like on the street signs, it is Vienna. Mm -hmm. Next, we have, okay, um, I, I don't know if you can tell, but the Co coverage immediately looks kind of like washed out, like way different than the previous round. If you didn't notice, you can skip back a little bit and then look at this. Uh, the, the difference is noticeable, for me at least. So uh, my first thought, you usually get the washed, like, washed out coverage like that in like Germany a lot. So my first thought, it looks like we might have generation two here. Uh, looks like we might have like some like circles on the top and the bottom, like circular blurs, and that would indicate Generation 2. So with Generation 2 and washed out co co uh, colors, I would think Germany, but let let's have a look. Um, it's hard to read, but I think it does say .de, which also, Germany. I didn't see any other clues besides what I already mentioned, but yeah, let's go. Yeah, it was a near Cologne. Oh, okay. This one might be a little bit... Uh, but the, from the first glance, I'm thinking Kyrgyzstan. I haven't looked down at the Google car yet. We'll do it in a second. But, I don't know, I'm just getting these vibes. The, the houses, the... I don't know, the feeling <laughs> that you get from, from everything. It just feels like in that area. Let's have a look at the Google car. Oh, it's Mongolia. Okay, <laughs> that works as well. You also get vibes, uh, similar vibes in Mongolia. Okay, so the, this is a Mongolian Google car. Yeah, these are Mongolian license plates. So in Kyrgyzstan, yeah, the license plates will be wide with red on the left side. In Mongolia, the license plates are narrow uh, with no, no visible strips. You see this letter a lot in, in Mongolian, which you don't see in uh, Russian. If you see this letter, that's a good clue that it's not Russia. I will leave a tip video in the info card where I talk about European languages. Not necessarily Mongolian, but I talk about like different uh, characters in different languages that might help. But yeah, this, uh, this should be Mongolia. Let's go. Ooh, okay, uh, we have this uh, concrete road. A concrete road which would uh, make me think immediately either uh, Thailand or the Philippines. If you see a road like this, most of the time it is there. This pole, this looks like the typical Thai pole, the kind of like a square pole with like a little dot at the top. You can see these poles in Laos and very similar poles in Sri Lanka sometimes. So that's that's extra knowledge. And if of course, if we zoom in, we can see some uh, Thai language as well. Oh, and this is generation uh, four. That's a good clue as well, because uh, Thai can have generation four. Not many countries here can have.
But yeah, so let's go Thailand. Do, 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 do. Okay, yellow plates. That's the first thing that I noticed. Yellow plates. Which would make me think uh, the Netherlands. Also, these stripes. These black and white stripes. I remember these stripes from my Geo Detective video that I did. Uh, where we had like a location in Amsterdam. There were also those pol poles had uh, these black and white stripes. So, Geo Detective can help with GeoGuessr as well. If you haven't seen that video, again, in the info card, the language, yeah, could, could be Dutch. I don't speak Dutch myself, but, but it definitely could be. Uh, yellow plates, this, this like thick looking sign with no white borders around. Also very likely to be uh, the Netherlands. Because yeah, all of these clues, I am definitely confident with uh, the Netherlands guess here. Ooh, this might be tricky. Oh, maybe not. Hopefully not. <laughs> Dot me. Okay. Uh, that definitely helped. But let me tell you before seeing the sign why I was actually thinking Montenegro already. Like uh, from these guardrails and the road and the houses and a little bit like you can. I think you can see like a little bit rift here. I think we, if we look up, there will be a rift because you can see a little bit like color change here. All of that made me think Montenegro. Because, like, Montenegro just feels like, like this. Hard to explain. The more you play, the, the more you get the gut feeling <laughs> of, of, a, of some countries. And if we look, around, look up, yeah, there, are, there is a rift. There is a big rift. In case you don't know, usually you get big rifts in countries like M uh, Montenegro, Albania, and Senegal. Those are the usual rift countries, although you can get rifts in some other ones. Let's go with Montenegro here. Yep, nice. Ooh, so, okay, so we have some uh, short uh, dashed lines. Good to know. Ooh, a horsey. Cute, cute. Two horses. Because of these short dashed lines, my guess would be Sweden. Because in Sweden, a lot of the time, well, first of all, the houses. The houses feel very Nordic. Like with these like white, uh, white accents, if you can call them that. So, it makes me think one of the Nordic countries, right? And if we get uh, these short white dashes in Nordic countries, vast majority of the time, it will be Sweden. It could be Åland, which is Finnish. It could be Åland, but in Åland the road would be very red. And you usually can tell Åland's roads apart by that. So let's go Sweden. It was Sweden, indeed. Okay, now this is uh, Norway. So first of all, let's have a look at these yellow lines in the middle. Uh, I used to struggle with, sometimes with telling apart Norway, Norway from Canada or the US, because they also have like white lines on the sides, yellow in the middle, but uh, Norwegian yellow lines are longer. As you can see, they are very, very long. Uh, and, and the gap between them isn't that big. In, uh, in US and Canada, the lines will be shorter and the gap will be larger between them. So that's a clue. We see some bollards in the distance. You can see some bollards in the US, but not that often. You, they won't be as common. This definitely feels very northern because of the trees. The trees are very small. They look very fragile. And, and I would say this is very, very, very north, northern Norway. Not, I'm not gonna look for Munkelv right now, but I would say it's somewhere, somewhere up here. Yeah, very, very north, near, near Russian border. Okay, next we have, ooh, we have a bollard. Ooh, and this is a tricky one. Ooh, I like this. <laughs> this is a tricky bollard. Because uh, Denmark can have very similar bollards. I will leave them on the screen right now. So you can see the Danish bollards. This is not a Danish bollard. This is a Belgian one. Uh, there are some slight, slight differences in the way the reflector looks. That's a Belgian bollard. We can have a look around. We have generation 2. The houses... Uh, by the houses themselves, I wouldn't have been able to tell that this is Belgium. We can see that the plates are white. And possibly with some red tint. In Belgium, you get red characters on the plates. So sometimes uh, you will be able to tell that they have like a reddish tint to them. So, let's go Belgium. Okay, Generation 2. My first thought was, could this be San Marino? Uh, let's have a look. 
Generation 2, in San Marino, you will get very mountainous locations and Generation 2. So every, uh, whenever you get those two clues, Generation 2 and mountains, San Marino should be at the back of your mind. Let's have a look at the license plates. We do have blue on both sides, which is an Italian plate, but, but of course, Italy and San Marino. Well, San Marino is surrounded by Italy, so you will get a lot of Italian plates in San Marino. Some of these other plates, this one, I don't think that's an Italian plate. Let's have a look here. Yeah, this is not an Italian plate. Another great clue. These pedestrian crossings, uh, blue with white uh, stripes, uh, is, they are very typical to San Marino. I don't think you will find these in Italy. So I am fairly confident about this being San Marino now. Nice. Let's go. Ooh, this is a nice one. Uh, shouldn't be too difficult. We have this language here, which is uh, Korean. In Korean language, you will get these vertical lines with a lot of circles, uh, which makes them easy to tell apart from other Asian languages. Also green plates a lot of the time. Or maybe not completely green, but like with a green tint. Uh, one of the countries where you might get some green tint on the plates. Some other ones are... Um, the Philippines, Nigeria. But yeah, this one is definitely Korea. So let's go, let's go Korea. Mm-hmm. Pretty good streak, actually. Okay, we have a black car. Ooh, this might be a more tricky one. Oh, never mind. <laughs> okay, at first I didn't see any obvious clues besides the, the, the black car. But as we turn around, can you tell the big clue before I say it? Here is the big clue. Uh, this license plate. This is the big, big clue. Uh, that gives away that this is Argentina. In Argentina, uh, they the old license plates were the ones where, like, a black license plate with white characters, and when you blur it out, uh, it looks like a, a black dot remains. Like, the, all the white characters blur out, and in the middle, you can often see, like, a black dot. So those are the old uh, Argentinian license plates. These are the new ones, uh, which are bad for the geoguessing purposes, because they are making like unified license plates in, in many of the South American countries. So with like a, with a blue top and a white license plate. So those are the new style. They're not helping uh, at all, really. So let's go Argentina here. Nice. Ooh, again, generation one, sun to the north. Uh, Again, I think this should be Australia. Very, very dark, dark, uh, brownish, reddish soil. Uh, I would definitely go Australia here. Ooh, it was Queensland, okay. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ooh. I don't recognize this sun. Ooh, this might be tricky. We have, we have generation two a camera. I do not recognize these signs, and unfortunately I cannot read what they say. Okay, let's have a look at uh, around. Oh, the poles, okay. Uh, that was one of the, one thing I really wanted to see the poles. So good. Before seeing the poles, I was thinking Italy, Spain, Greece, Portugal, one of those countries. Seeing the pole, this is a ladder pole with these like horizontal lines going across, and uh, you get the ladder poles in Spain and Portugal, uh, not in Italy. And this ladder pole looks very Portuguese to me. From my observations, in Portugal, the, uh, the poles are more lean. If that makes sense, I'm not like 100% sure. But my main guess would be Portugal here. So I don't see any other clues. So let's guess Portugal. Oh, and it was good. Oh, very close to Spain. Yeah, very close to Spain. Ooh, okay, so we have double double yellow lines in the middle. Ooh, these are some interesting reflectors. So we have uh, no antenna. Yellow lines in the middle. This is uh, North America, definitely North America. These reflectors, I am thinking, were these like uh, British Columbian reflectors or were they something else? I know in different provinces in Canada, they have different bollards and reflectors. 
looking at the mountains, I'm thinking, could these have been the British Columbian reflectors? Might be where they sense e either Canada or US. I'm like 60% Canada, 40% US. Let's let's go Canada. Okay, it wasn't British Columbia, it was the other side. <laughs> but but I I am happy that I guess the right country at least. This should be Israel, let me tell you why. We can see these, first of all, white and um, black chevrons. Those you can see sometimes in Israel. Then we have yellow outer lines. Uh, you don't see, you get, don't get yellow outer lines in many countries. Usually you get them in southern African countries and then Israel and uh, Jordan. I think that's it. In Jordan, the Google car will be black. In Israel, it will have this antenna. We also have uh, yellow plates. In Israel, you will get yellow plates. You will get these uh, white and black stripes on many poles, as you can see. And of course, there is some Hebrew on the signs. So let's go Israel. Let's go Israel. Um, okay, is this a yellow line in the middle? I think this must be generation four with these very, very bright colors. Driving on the left side um, with these like uh, rectangular signs. And yellow, a yellow line in the middle, and these bollards. These black and white bollards you can get um, mostly in Thailand, sometimes in Indonesia. So, and between those two countries, uh, because of the yellow central line, I am thinking Thailand. In Thailand, oftentimes you will see a yellow central line. And in uh, Thailand, you can also have Generation 4. Quite often. Quite often. It was, it was very north. I was thinking it yeah, could, could be very far north because this area is very, very hilly, very mountainous. This is the, the Philippine scar. Uh, it is unique. You, don't, you won't get this scar anywhere else. Very, very thin white line. Very, very thin white line and the car itself is black. Uh, so that is the Philippines. We can see some English texts here. And uh, again, this uh, like concrete road. Which is a good clue. Yellow yellow outer lines that we just talked about. So, this won't be either Israel or Jordan. This will be one of the Southern African countries. Yeah, no other clues really. Um, in the Southern Africa, there sometimes will be difficult to tell these countries apart. But uh, what you can use is generations. Not this time, it doesn't help. But if you get Generation 2 camera, it means that it is South Africa. Unfortunately, this is Generation 3, which could be in all Eswatini, South Africa, and Lesotho. Botswana doesn't have these mountains, so, so this is definitely not, not Botswana. But yeah, the mountains. The mountains is the next big clue which you can use. Because if you see like these mountains with like a rock like this, it will oftentimes be Lesotho. Because in Lesotho, you see a lot of uh, like edgy cliffs like this, and not too many trees. As you can see, there are no trees on this mountain. There are a couple there. No really trees anywhere here as well. Only on the roadside here and there. So that's why, because of the lack of the trees and the mountains, I am thinking Lesotho here. In Eswatini, there would be way more trees. It was Lesotho. Nice. Uh, okay, this is one of the African countries. It looks like Nigeria, because we can see kind of a greenish license plate. As I mentioned before, Nigeria is one of the countries where you can have kind of green license plates. If we look around, we have this semi-wide blur. It's uh, not really wide enough to, as low cameras, low cameras see even wider blur. But it is like wider than usual. That's why I call it semi-wide blur. I don't think anyone else calls it that way. Uh, but, yeah, this should be Nigeria. I think this is the follow car that's following us around. In different parts of Nigeria, you can have different follow cars. But yeah, the, the big clue here was the license plate, for me at least, without even looking at the, at the car, Google car. So, this is Nigeria. This is actually a really good streak. <laughs> I was thinking I would be doing, like, multiple games when I started the video, but, but this will be the only one. Because I've been going for a while. Uh, .de is the website. Let's not rush things. Let's have a look down. This is not Generation 2, so this is not Germany. 
So I know some people really like to go by the domain names they see. Well, if you go Germany here, well, you lose your streak, unfortunately. But but I might lose my streak either way because I'm not seeing any any obvious clues about other countries. Uh, we have some a, a black water tank. Hmm. Uh, which hmm, I'm not sure it helps. Steering wheel, so we are driving on the right side. We have the blue strip. We have an antenna. Uh, the language... M.E. Villa. Could M.E. stand for Montenegro? Villa. Any rifts in the sky? Not really. There are some stripes, small stripes, but they don't really count as rifts. And, like, looking at the houses, they could be Montenegrin, the roofs feel similar to the roofs you can see in Montenegro, but I think this is the, the, the most difficult round, for me at least, that we have had until now. Let's see if this is... Ooh, very close to Albanian border, but it was Montenegro indeed. Ooh, rough one, rough one. Ooh, again, not, an, not a very easy one. We have a, an antenna. Hmm, yeah, we don't really see the license plates even. I think we do have the blue strip on the license plate. This is a tricky one. I am thinking maybe... Maybe... Slovenia? Maybe Slovakia? Kind of between those two? Hmm, I'm, I'm leaning more Slovakia. I hope this isn't Czechia. <laughs> But there is, there aren't much, many clues around, so I think we need to guess. Yeah, I, I think I go Slovakia, because this is, yeah. Czechia! Ah! The other one. Um, why I went Slovakia, not uh, anything else. Uh, this, these, uh, house numbers. I couldn't really tell, but I know you can get similar house numbers in Slovakia and Slovenia. But still, I did way, way better than I expected, honestly. Uh, streak of 34. Let me know in the in the comments, how did you do? <laughs> how did you do? I did not expect this to be such a, such a long uh, video. But I hope you still enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. And check out this other video with more tips that I share with you guys. Huge thanks to all of the patrons and members for supporting this channel. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Be kind to one another and see you in the next video.